sitting up extra tall and straight for this segment. Teaching table manners to kids is an important part of family meal time. That is why we invited etiquette expert Nancy Schnoblin Ims of Polished back into the studio, one of our favorite guests. And she's here to give us five dining manners that your kids should master. And man, you're right in my wheelhouse right now. Well, so I appreciate these. Let me just tell you, you know, teaching kids proper etiquette mm -hmm. um, and social skills, it sets the table for success now and in their future. And studies suggest that kids who have manners, Matt, are more successful in life. There you go. There's and and they get along better with the teachers, they make friends easily, and when the time comes, they're better, they're more successful in their career. So manners matter. This isn't just an aesthetic thing. We're not right. just doing it for We're fun. We're setting the table for success. So I no pun intended. <laughs> so I jokingly said sitting up straight, but that's number one on your list. Sit up tall. Apps right? learning proper posture is essential. It's essential. And especially when you're at the dinner table. So you want to sit straight, feet flat on the floor, no curling up your feet or legs and putting them on the seat of the chair oh no yeah. that's a no-no you want to sit sit straight and tall it's a, it's a reflection of confidence poise and respect number two you say chew like a bunny what do you mean by that <laughs> so often I have the pleasure of teaching kids dining etiquette skills and they like visuals so imagine you see a bunny eating a carrot or lettuce they do it with their mouth closed mm -hmm. I'm gonna imitate it so chewing brave, like a bunny. You're brave than me to do that on the air. <laughs> and so kids like that. They understand yeah. that you chew with your mouth closed and you do not, um, you do not talk with food in your mouth. Let's talk about uh, some of the language we use around the table. Uh, if you want something that's on the other end of the table, what's the appropriate way to ask for that? Absolutely. Please, please pass the salt. Please pass the ketchup. May I have the butter, please? Mm -hmm. You know, it's music to our ears, Matt. We love that. And I want to just add a little bonus with salt and pepper. If somebody asked for the salt, pass the pepper, too. You do not separate the salt and pepper. They should be passed together. That's a good one. And that's your aha one. moment. I love it. I love it. Here's one we're grappling with in my house right now because we have a quantity issue. There's yes. a lot of people around the table. Which is good. The, it is good. I'm not complaining about it, but the interruptions happen frequently. Right. There has right. to be one person who has the floor, right? Learning to have a conversation without interrupting. That's too hard for kids because they want to get their two cents in or mm -hmm. they want to contribute. But teaching them good communication skills at a young age, again, it's a trajectory of success as they get older. No interrupting. Which is what we want. And you really have to listen too. Listening is a key skill. It's of not course. just talking. Of course. It's listening. It's a two-way street. Yes. No doubt about yes. it. When it's time to get up and leave the table, is there an appropriate and an and inappropriate way to do that? You know, people say, Nancy, it's so old fashioned for you to, to, to teach kids, may I please be excused from the table. It shows respect, right? Now they may wanna go to do their homework, maybe they wanna go play a game with their sibling or a friend, but just showing that form of respect is, is really show, showcases exemplary manners. And, and, there's always an and, take your dish, your silverware, your glass to the kitchen sink and help mom or dad out or grandmother or whoever's preparing that delicious meal so that they can have one less you know just to clear from the table amen nancy in amen. fact we've graduated from that to take it to the sink and give it a quick rinse Ooh. it's unbelievable the oh, amount of Matt, time that saves mom Matt, and dad I'm telling i love you, that we're not there with everybody i we're love together. that thank you nancy yes, so my much. pleasure we will post this segment along with a link to nancy's website on ours kmov.com slash great day kent that's the place to go uh, thank you uh, you're thank quite you. welcome oh. and your lovely guest as well <laughs> still to come on